evening and welcome back to Two Props, One Pod with me, Gemma, the Prop Life. And me, Anya, the Chatty Prop. Um, we are joined by a really exciting guest today, Anya. Murray promised us a legendary guest and I'm really excited about this one. I'm very <laughs> excited too because actually she couldn't hear my reaction when I actually did see her, but I did just scream frankly at the top of my, at the top of my lungs. <laughs> But, so yeah. we are joined today by the lovely Frankie, aka That Rugby Girl. Welcome to the pod, Frankie. Ooh. Hi, thanks. We are Hi, so excited so to have you here as our first guest. Um, if anyone was new to your page, tell me a little bit about your page, what your page does, who's involved, that kind of thing. So my page is with me and my dad and we're I'm basically trying to inspire young girls to join the sport and um, to just get like girl sport more up and women's sport more up as well. That's so good, Frankie. I think I think personally, like I, I've watched your stuff from day one, from when you from when you started, um, yeah. and it's it's been really lovely to see your confidence grow as you've as like as you've done it from when you first started to like where you are now. Um, and we've been obviously like me and Gemma know a little bit because we spoke to you and to your dad aka Mark um, a little bit about what you've been doing um, so can you tell us a little bit about what you've done at your school because I know that you've done start from the beginning tell us about the whole petition and everything like that okay so yeah so in September I started my school and I didn't have a girls rugby club team so me and my friends decided that we all had enough of that so we all joined like a group and we decided to um, make rugby in the school and a couple of weeks ago my form tutor told me that I finally got girls rugby in the school and that my dad would be coming in and coaching mm -hmm. That's so cool. That is such a big Amazing. achievement. And so what are you, are there going to be kind of age categories or just new people? What What are you hoping for? So I'm hoping for like, it goes through the whole school, like mm. until we finish and leaves the school, it'll still be going on. That's really cute. I love That's that. That's so exciting. I always get really excited when I see your videos because you remind me so much of me at your age yes. and I know Anya will probably get the same kind of thing and like I didn't have rugby at school and I actually really oh, needed no. rugby and I realised that as a grown-up now and yeah. when I'm old and my bones click <laughs> so I'm, I'm already clicking Gemma I'm already clicking but I don't you know I'm only 27 <laughs> and my bones are clicking <laughs> exactly and so that's what makes it so exciting for us seeing the kind yeah. of the work that you're doing it's exactly what we needed to see at school yeah. What would be your kind of words of wisdom to any girls your age that are maybe thinking about picking up a rugby ball? Just do it. Like, if you want to do it, do it. Uh, I, you wouldn't... If anyone says any otherwise, don't listen to them. You can do what you want to. If you want to play rugby, if you want to play football, if you want to play any sport, just do it. Amazing. I think... Um... Yeah, I think also as well for me and Gemma, we would like to just say like a huge thank you because what you don't understand is you've probably just introduced, you know, tens of hundreds of new girls to rugby who would never have had the opportunity. And like Gemma said, I start I only started playing at 16. Gemma, I don't know when you started um playing, 19. But it was just yeah, it was just never an option for us. So um it's quite really heartwarming to see that you've and you've done it with your friends and you're having fun and that's what rugby is, is and, about isn't it really and shout out to dad as well because he's done such shout a great dad, job yeah. working with you and with bobby and making you keeping your accounts such a great yeah. kind of fun and safe place and i think that, that that deserves a little dad round of applause too round of applause for mark and frankie Woo. Woo. I actually i actually got to meet mark and frankie in real life at the harlequins worcester game so that was very nice because it's nice to see people online, but it's even nicer to meet them. Um, I'm still heartbroken. We haven't had the chance to meet in person yet, but it will happen. We'll have it to will... have a big. We'll have to have a big meet up. Yeah. Maybe we should come to the maybe we should come to one of the rugby classes, Gemma. Maybe we should. 
<laughs> drop into one of the drop into one of the lessons <laughs> teach them some valuable I'm, I'm okay I'm not that great Frankie I'm okay your dad's probably better at rugby than me but you know yeah, I'll try I try, I try my best <laughs> I have a couple more questions because yeah, I'm really sorry, I'm a really nosy one, Frankie. I want to know what's the thing you found kind of most challenging whilst you've been learning rugby? Yeah. Um, that people um when people found out that I started playing rugby and that I was playing rugby, got to like year six that I started getting really teased at well at school and everything. Like mm-hmm. I started getting called weird and everything. Just like hey. Yeah, just so tell them lovely. I don't care about your opinion. I'm going to do what I want. And you have, and it. you've done that so, yeah. so well. And yeah, yeah it's, it's amazing how anyone who's not within a small, very small square box, the people try to be like, oh, that's weird. Yeah. Actually, it's not. It's fabulous. And yeah. skills wise, is there anything you found that you really love and there's anything that you find really tricky? I love my passing. Yeah. Bad at my kicking. Oh, Frankie, it's okay. I'm not a kicker either. Not all of us. Are good. Not all of us are born to be kickers. It's you know. I've I've tried. I've. I've Gemma, have you tried to be a kicker? So funny story. I promised my followers that when I hit 20k, I'd try a high heels conversion. Very well, I can't do a conversion in boots. Yeah. Um, so we're we'll off to film that. We're we'll off to that's film that. Aiming. Frankie, <laughs> I've got a little question. Sorry, that's. A little detour we've just taken. Not at all. I love to. I love to see that. Firstly, you can can get that filmed and put that online. I'd like to see that. Um, when I get out of the hospital again, I will make sure it's on. <laughs> please, yeah, <laughs> please, just yeah, just make get better first. But um, uh, Frankie, just quickly, another another random question. Um, who is your favourite female rugby player? <laughs> I know it's a tough one. I know. <laughs> Frankie's trying to roll through her top ten at the moment. Like, yeah. <laughs> give us, give us a few. Give us a few. Okay. Yeah. If it's too hard to pick one, you can give us a few. Okay. So, Poppy Clill. Yeah. Emily Scott. Mm-hmm. Rachel Burford. Yeah. Bookie, Good choices. Yeah. Bucky Clark. And yeah. Hunter. Legend such a good list um, and what great lots choices of, lots of forwards in there which we like to see yeah what I was gonna say about, would you like to be a forward Frankie you want do you want to be a forward do you want to you don't want to be a join, forward join us <laughs> Gemma, she's on a two props from pod, podcast and she doesn't want to be a forward or a prop we support all ambitions here we do also- but we are a bit <laughs> Also, in the evolution of rugby, everyone ends up a forward eventually. Everyone, everyone, it all comes full circle and everyone ends up in in the scrum. Fully, fully. And what is it about any of those people in particular? So is there anything in particular about, say, Poppy or Rocky that really inspires you? Or is it just him as people? I'd love to hear. Well, Rocky and Rachel, I've actually met them loads of times. Wow. I met That's Emily. Cool. I met Emily Scott as well, loads of times because I used. She used to teach. She used to coach T birds at Farwick, where I yeah, used. Yeah, at Farwick. Yeah, I remember. That's really cool. She's, and she's met some people. She's met some cool people, Gemma. She's met more people than me. She's like, met more people than me. Yeah, she has. She's a celeb. Oh yeah. Celeb now. I see Walkie Clark and Rachel Burford because I'm in the um, girls' book. The club yeah. so um like they do like little clubs and everything that i can go to and it, they do like rugby sessions and everything nice. wait because oh. and- i see because you do i mean you guys are the one of the busiest rugby families yeah. probably ever because rugby, rugby, you rugby. do girls rugby club dad does like little scrubbers but you also do a few things like you're involved with balls for brains as well aren't you yeah um, you do and a lot of things you do you guys do a lot of things and what kind of made you want to get involved on the like the mental health side of it because that's something that's such amazing kind of insight from someone who is so young really yeah I, um, during the pandemic and the beginning of this year, I struggled a lot with my mental health and it yeah. 
down a lot with rugby. So mm. I thought if I if I started again and I started promoting mental health and everything, it will start giving people like ideas to talk to people and not end up like I did and not talk to anyone and end up like in a little ball in my bedroom. That's really brave, Frankie. Yeah. That's so brave. And I think also a lot of people by talking about it, you're 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 making it a normal thing to talk about, like you say. And um I think a lot of people experienced, myself included, very, very similar feelings um during lockdown. It was a really hard time for everyone. So yeah. it's a really important thing and thank you for thank you for doing yeah. things for that. That's you know. And I, I, again, when I was your age, I went through very similar things. And I didn't yeah. really, again, because the stuff wasn't out at the time, I didn't even really know that it was mental health related. Yeah. So again, having someone who would have been my age going, hey, actually, it's okay. You know, it's all right to feel a bit low, but you'll get through it and things will get a little bit better. That would have really helped me at the time. So that's yeah. really awesome that you're giving that to other girls in exchange. Yeah. And also the rugby community is 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 big and everyone is always here for everyone so you know if it is ever getting a bit like that again you can always talk to me and Gemma because we're pretty cool and yeah. we're here we're here to listen and we've probably been through some very similar things so cool Absolutely. promise promise yeah. there we Pinky go promise by a camera Pinky promise by a camera yeah <laughs> that's it I would like to give you the opportunity if there's anything you'd like to throw at us and it can be some silly questions some fun questions oh. or some serious questions is there anything you'd yeah. like to ask me and Anya okay no, um, no. what's your top five favorite um favorite rugby players oh okay I'm just gonna scroll them off the top of my head Go um Abidal I think she's great um Laura Sansu, who just retired from French rugby, they're number they're number nine. He got injured in the World Cup. I think she's pretty awesome to watch play. Um, I think I'm saying a lot of backs considering I'm a forward, aren't I? Um, I'm gonna go Sarah Byrne because she's just an amazing she's an amazing prop, and I respect her greatly. Um, I'm gonna go. Oh, it's so difficult. Cool. Why did we give you this question, Frankie? It's quite, it's quite <laughs> tough to do for them. Um, I'm going to go Ellie Kildun because she's really nice and she's a very cool person. Um, yeah. And number five, I'm going to go with Alex Matthews because I think she's very cool and a great rugby player. Those are such great answers. Okay. <laughs> now so, you're struggling, aren't you? Don't repeat any no of them. <laughs> in no particular order, um, Simi Pam. She's yeah. cool. She's so cool. She's a talented prop who can sprint. And it's just, yeah. she's cool. She's a doctor. Love her. Um, yeah. Shauna Brown. Like, Shauna's hilarious. Yeah, and another cool Did one. you see she flanked yeah. today? She did. I watched the game. It was such a good game. It was a great game. My mind was think. blown. And again, she's really cool. And she helped yeah. me get back on the pitch after a big injury. Yeah. Um... I would say Rosie Galligan. She is lovely. Yeah. I've met her lovely, a few times. Lovely, yeah. Um, Bryony Cleal, because she's absolutely hysterical. and Funny, yeah. I would, would never, confirm. Yeah, absolutely hysterical. Um, and oh, this is so hard. Uh, so, like, I, I love No, so I know. Much. I know. Some of your extra chiefs, you know. <laughs> Sneaky, sneaker, you must say one in there. Oh, I mean, I, I do love Kate Zachary. You know, you I, do. I have a lot of love I for Kate I was thinking Zachary. that one. I was trying to lead you towards that because you do. you do. Yeah, I do. I do. I mean, there's just so many people that I love. But yeah, Kate Zachary's up there as well. Captain Kate. Have you ever met Kate, um, Frankie? No. You, you, you need to. She's very cool. Um, she is captain of the USA Eagles as well. So she's... And she's got a very smart brain on her shoulders. So that was a great question. Thank you, Frankie. Is there anything else? Anya's gone robotic. What's your favourite thing about Christmas? Oh. Um, 
Anya, mate, you've gone really robotic. Oscar, I've gone. Can I? Frankie, this is a really. I love Christmas because Christmas Day is. Uh, let me just. Well, and you get sorted. I will answer what my favourite thing about Christmas is. My favourite thing about Christmas is that there is no limit on what you can eat. Like, really, there's no socially social limit on what you you know. You want seconds? Sorry. You have seconds. I, I'm you... back. I'm back. Am I back? Am I back? Is it? Yeah. You are back. Sorry. You are Sorry. back. I was just filling in the gap while you were getting sorted. I was saying how I love what I love about Christmas is that there's there's no like social limit on what you can eat if you want seconds yeah. you have seconds if you want fourths you have fourths. food pig in blankets for breakfast absolutely <laughs> you, can have, you can have and you can have like bucks fizz for breakfast and it's like completely fine to have a drink at like 9am absolutely acceptable what do you what do you and dad love about christmas frankie <laughs> what do you love about christmas i love presents as well you know i love the presents yeah frankie's a girl of my own heart yeah and what does dad love about christmas i i agree with you Gemma. there's no calories at christmas no they don't it's count mark no, they don't yeah, count no <laughs> christmas all of it i want a mountain of food and you know what i also love boxing day too because that's just another food day it's just another great food day yeah is there anything that you're kind of hoping um that's rugby related maybe that santa brings you frankie oh good question harley quinn's t-shirt yeah yeah, she's a Quinns fan, is our Frankie. She is a Quinns. She is a Quinns she girl. That's it. Kit this year. It is Amazing. a nice kit. Are you getting? Do you want? Would you want a shirt or a t-shirt? Uh, the... You want the shirt? You want the yeah. Plain shirt? Or both? You can have both. You know, you can answer both. Maybe just no, be cheeky. No. No, <laughs> just no. the one. Just the one. <laughs> the dad in the background. Like, no, one. <laughs> <Shania. laughs> sorry, sorry. I should be planting ideas. Yeah, I, my favorite thing is because it's my birthday, and I and I and it's my birthday, Christmas Day, Frankie. So I just get to have my birthday on the best day of the year. It's terrible, it, actually. I don't like having my birthday on that day, but it's it's nice. You get double presents. You do well when you're younger, Frankie. You do when you get to my age. People start to get a little. They go bit, the other way round, don't they? They go. Yeah, single they start presents. to go. They start to join them together. They're like, "Here's your joint," and I'm like, "Oh." But yeah, it's okay. It's it's about being with your family, isn't it, really? So Okay. Yeah. Have you got any more questions for us, Frankie? Mm, no. No. Well, that was a good question. Anya looks like she's got a question. Well, I have one for Frankie because we haven't asked her yet. What position would you love to play? <laughs> don't look at me, she's not upset. If you don't say prop. Dad's right holding it. What we can't see is behind the sign, Mark's holding, uh, behind the camera, Mark's holding a sign going, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I would want to be a centre. Okay, Ooh. that's valid. That's still a good position, yeah. <laughs> I was saying. It's not proper, but it's like, it's okay, you know. Yeah. Blink, blink twice, blink twice if Dad's eyeball. <laughs> yeah, blink twice if Dad's, if Dad's, yeah. Behind the, the best props started as centres, so that's that's yeah, fine. exactly. We we all move there, we all get to front row eventually. We do yeah. actually, we're saying this, but Gemma left the front row a long time ago, so <laughs> I'm barely the prop. No, and is there anything particular about being in the centres, Frankie, that you're like, yeah, that's what I want to do? Mm, bossing people around. Oh, you should be a 10 then, you should be a 10. <laughs> you want to boss people around? You just meet like you should just be like. Yeah. That's what our ten's like anyway. I don't know about about your ten, Gemma, but yeah, fully. You should. I was going to ask as well. I was going to ask another question that's completely just. I literally just had it on the tip of my tongue, and it's gone from what is. Um, okay, Frankie, I've got a question. It's come back to me. What one bit of advice? Would you give to someone who gets a bit nervous on game day? Would you say, you've got a little pep speech that you'd give someone? I like that. Just try your hardest. It doesn't matter if you lose or win. It's just a game and it's just, yeah. like, just be for fun. Yeah. If 
anyone has a problem with that, just don't listen to them. Yeah. Just just have fun. Just go and have fun. It's a game, isn't it, at the end of the day? Great advice. Absolutely. We say oh. we just we just block out the haters. That's what we say. We block out the haters. Block no, out. no, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> have you That's got really any good advice? Have you got any other questions for Frankie Gemma? I think I've pretty much thought of all of them, if I'm honest. That was, you know, and Frankie, you've answered them so, so well, especially because you've not had them emailed to you beforehand or anything. You've just yeah, been like, we've, we've sprung it on you. Um, also, so quickly, good. have you seen any of the games today? Did you see any of the Premier 15 games today? Or was no. it? No. no. Fine. That's fine. Okay. I need to catch up on them too. But I did see on, that's why I saw on Shauna's Instagram that she'd been flanking. I was like, yeah. Are you gonna, yeah. Are you going to try and get down to any games? Frankie soon. Maybe we should try and hop down to you, Big game, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, me too! No. I... Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, um, we'll see you there. She's actually going, she's been invited by the, I can't remember the guy's name, he's the head of comms at Quinn's. Oh, she's yeah. going to get a media pass and she's going to go and do some like little interviews oh. and stuff. By her. Oh, that's so exciting, Frankie. Can I get a picture with you at the end, Frankie? Can I like because you'll be on the pitch? I'm like, that's so exciting. My little tip for doing that is just film everything, everything, like and edit it later. Something you think you won't use later, just film Film it, it just film everything, and then you can always cut it down. And you and Dad can cut it down, and then you can sit there and look back through the memories. You'll love it. Yeah, genuinely, what Gemma said, just film it normally on your phone, edit it all later doesn't matter if it's in a crazy order just just go and enjoy it and have a good time also little favor i've got to ask you frankie um if you say joe mar if you see joe marla which you which you probably will if you do see joe marla can you just tell him that he is my favorite and i love him is that okay can you tell him that could you just say annie is a big fan and she says hi he I, think he know, I think he knows who anya is by now like he will fully know if you I just say anya he'll be like Anya. He hasn't, and it re- I don't think he has, but I in w- one day I might meet Joe Marla and it'll make my it will make my day. And Frankie's meeting him before I do, so I'm gonna if you can say hi to <laughs> him for me, that would be that'd be great. Is there anyone you'd like to give a little shout out to, Frankie? Yeah. Mm. Or yeah. any anyone, yeah. anything as well? Yeah. Is that thinking? Mm. Uh no. No. Who, who's your who's your favourite? Um not, is there anyone that you think people should follow? Or also what yeah, what are your social media things so people can follow you? And you read my mind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> can you tell us like your name on Instagram and TikTok and so people can get yeah, follow in your story? Isn't it just that rugby girl? That rugby girl with two L's. I think it's that rugby girl. That rugby girl. That rugby girl. Follow that rugby girl on TikTok and Instagram. It's great. We love watching it. So, and we you can do. follow all of Frankie's adventures and her her school initiative and all of that because she's all the cool. amazing stuff that is going all on. All the amazing, amazing stuff. Um, yeah. And actually, Murray was just saying, Mark, that we he didn't know your name for ages, so he just knew you as Dad. Frankie's dad. <laughs> he just knew knew Mark yeah. is Frankie's dad. And now I said, Mark, we know him. Oh, anyway, well, so, Team, thank you so much for coming on. Thank you so much. We've loved it, Frankie. Will you come um, on again in the future? Can we? Can you? Will you be a guest again in the future for us? Yeah. And then you can update yeah. us on every on how it's going and all of your exciting adventures that you're going to be going on. And I can't wait to see all the stuff that you do. Really. Yeah. I'm so excited for you, guys. Thank you so much for coming on. Um, for anyone that's watching, as Frankie said, she can be found on Instagram and TikTok at that rugby girl, and she's got a, pro- a really cool pink profile picture um, of her running along with the ball. So yeah. check her socials out. In the meantime, I've been Gemma, the prop life, and I'm Annie, the champion prop, and we are two props. One word. Thank you for joining. Thank you.